Hey guys, this is Steve from Trim That Weed. In today's video, we're going to discuss the GE Oven F97 error code, its meaning, causes, and solutions. But first, what does error code F97 mean? GE Oven F97 error code is an oven code that indicates a malfunction with the cooling fan in the lower oven. The GE oven contains a cooling fan in the lower oven that prevents the outside components of the oven from overheating. The error code F97 implies that the cooling fan is not running at the correct speed, hence spinning slowly. The following are some of the common causes of the F97 error. Lower cooling fan. As mentioned, when the lower cooling fan is not running at its normal speed, your oven will display the F97 error. This can occur when the fan becomes dirty through accumulated buildup from oil, grime, and other cooking products. Hence, its function has slowed down. A faulty control board. Your GE oven will show the F97 error code if the control board sends or receives the wrong signals. For example, the control board could think that the panel buttons are being held or stuck, leading to the oven displaying the F97 error code. Poor wire connections. If the wires are poorly connected or loose, the error code F97 can appear on the GE oven. Now, let's look at the best solutions you can apply to fix the F97 error. Place the oven on clean mode. If you suspect the cooling fan is dirty, this can be cleared by placing your lower oven on clean mode to remove all the dirt buildup. Do this. Remove the grates from the oven. Flip the lock ledge to the left to lock it. Set the oven on auto self-clean. Once you hear the lower oven start up, let it finish cleaning or press cancel to stop it. Replace the control board. If you find out the control board is the problem, then replacing it is the only solution. Here's how to do it. Unplug the oven from the power source. Unscrew the head panel and remove it. This reveals the control board behind it. Carefully disconnect the wires from the control board. Unscrew the control board and remove it. Attach the new control board to the control panel and screw it back. Return the wires to the correct terminals. Finally, take the head panel and screw it back in. Inspect the wire connections. To fix a problem with the wiring, carefully inspect each wire and ensure they're well secured. Switch it off by unplugging then plugging it back in to restart the oven. If doing this doesn't fix the error, contact a qualified technician to fix the appliance. Thanks for watching.